For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On September 21st, thousands of Colombians participated in a national strike across the country against the right-wing government of President Ivan Duque. Several massive demonstrations were carried out in different cities in rejection of police brutality, economic crisis, mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the ceaseless assassination of social leaders. Citizens, members of various human rights organizations, left-wing political parties, social movements, and other organizations took to the streets throughout the country to express their discontent. Although the authorities assured that the police officers wouldn't carry firearms during the marches and repress the protests, the officials of the mobile anti-disturbance squadron, ISMAT, responded to the peaceful demonstrations with violent repression. According to reports, the ISMAT officers interrupted the mobilizations in Bogota, Medellin, Popayan, and dispersed the crowd with tear gas. In addition, a large number of protesters were detained in these cities, and several others were injured. The Common Alternative Revolutionary Force, FARC Party, also denounced the police actions. One of the central demands of the protests was justice for the 46-year-old law student and taxi driver, Javier Ordonez, who was tortured and murdered by two officers in Bogota on September 9th. They also demanded justice for the 13 other people killed by the police on September 10th during the mobilizations demanding justice for Ordonez. The deepening of the economic crisis and growing unemployment, which surpassed 20% in July, was another factor that motivated the protests. Various labor unions, pensioners, and students have been vocal in rejecting the recently approved decree 1174, which imposes several regressive labor and pension reforms. The protesters also demanded the cessation of the wave of massacres hitting the country, as well as the systemic assassination of human rights leaders and social leaders in the country, as well as an end to violence against women and LGBTQI people. According to the Institute of Development and Peace Studies in De Paz, 246 people were killed in 61 massacres registered in Colombia until September 20th of this year. Since the signing of the peace agreements in November 2016 until today, over 1,000 social leaders and human rights defenders and over 200 ex-combatants and their family members have been assassinated. <laughs> Bien cantar, que vamos a triunfar, a